Okay, in this lecture we're going to talk about some uh, different ways that we can represent a straight line uh, that are particularly useful in different scenarios. Okay, so the first one we're going to talk about is what's called the point-slope form. Now suppose I have a, uh, a line, alright, and I know a point that it's going through. Like so. And let's suppose we know that it has a slope equal to m. Now what we can do is we can pick off just some general point on the line. Let's call it x, y. And remember that we can work out the slope m as being, all right, y2. So let's take this one as uh, y2. This one x2. So it'll be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So in this case, it's simply y minus y1 over x minus x1, where x and y are just this general point that we don't know what the x and y value actually is. So notice that we now have m equals y minus y1 over x minus x1. We can take all this quantity and multiply both sides. Okay, so which means that we end up with y minus y1, that's this top part, and we're going to be multiplying both sides here, so this will be m by x minus x1. So if I know the slope and I know a point, then I can write my equation in this particular form, which is actually what's called the point-slope form. Right, so let's do an example of this. All right, so let's suppose we want to find the equation of the line through the point um, 3, negative 5, having a slope of negative 2. Right, so notice here that we have the point, so this is our x1, y1, and we have the slope, which here is m. So using the point-slope form, we would have y subtract negative 5 would be equal to m, which is negative 2, by x subtract x1, which is 3. Okay. And so uh, this would be y plus 5 equals negative 2x plus 6, which implies if I subtract 5 from both sides, I have y equals negative 2x plus 1. And this would be the equation of my line. Now, the second example I'm going to do has to do with what happens if I have two points and not the slope. All right, so let's do that. Let's find the equation of the line through uh, uh, negative 4, 3, and 5, negative 1. Right, now, in this case here, we don't have the slope, all right, which is what we had up here. Uh, however, we have two points, so we can't find the slope. So, step one, find the slope. And we know m will be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And it doesn't matter which one we choose here, so let's use this as the second one. So it's going to be negative 1 subtract 3 over 5 subtract negative 4. So this will be negative 4 here, and this will be 5 plus 4, which is 9. Right, now we have two points. We only needed one up here. Now it doesn't matter which one of these we choose. Choose whichever point you would like. And so then step 2, we would say point slope form would be y minus, let's use this one, y1, equals, so I'm using the first point here, I could have used the second one, doesn't matter, you'll get the same answer, uh, negative 4 on 9 
by x subtract negative 4. Okay, so this implies then that I have y minus 3 equals negative 4 on 9 by x plus 4. So what's going to be my equation? Well, we distribute out. We have negative 4 on 9 x uh, subtract 16 on 9. So this will imply that we have y equals negative 4 on 9 x uh, minus 16 on 9 plus 3. Now 3, of course, is this 3 here, of course, would be um, uh, 27 on 9. Is that right? Yeah, 27 on 9. So we're adding 27 on 9 and we're subtracting this, uh, or adding negative 16 on 9. All right, and so that should give us uh, positive 11. So it's going to be negative 4 on 9x uh, plus 11 over 9 will be my equation. Okay. All right, so that's how we uh, find the equation for... Um, uh, a uh, line that's specified by two points. All right, so that's our first one, which is point-slope form. Our second one is actually what's called the slope-intercept form. All right, now, let's suppose, all right, I have a line like so, and notice that it always crosses the y-axis somewhere if it's a non-vertical line. And this point here, let's call that point 0B. Let's pick off a general point again, x, y, and using the point-slope form, I'd have y minus b would be equal to m by x minus 0. Okay, so this is really acting as my x1, y1. Okay, and this is my general point. Now notice here then this becomes y minus b equals mx, because m times 0 is uh, 0. So this implies if I add b to both sides, y equals mx plus b. Now notice that this is the slope. And this is the y-intercept. Okay, where it cuts the y-axis. So this is rather a good form here. Right, so if you look at this one here, we had negative 4 on 9. That was exactly what the slope was, and that's in front here. See that? And this 11 on 9 would, in fact, be the y-intercept. Also up here, this negative 2 is, in fact, the slope. See that? And the plus 1 is actually where it crosses the y-axis. So this is what's called the slope-intercept form. So let's do an example. Right, find the slope. And y-intercept. Of the line... with equation uh, 4 uh, x minus 3y equals 12. All right, <clears throat> so if I can get it into this form, then clearly I can pick off what the slope is and what the y-intercept is. So the first thing I need to do is I need to subtract both sides, um, from both sides, 4x. All right, so I end up with negative 3y on the left would be equal to negative 4x plus 12. I now need to divide both sides by 3. That means everything by 3. And it will be negative 3 since we have a negative 3 here. This implies then that I have y equals... Negative 4 divided by negative 3 will be just 4 on 3. The negatives cancel. And negative 3 into 12 gives me negative 4. So my slope 
is 4 thirds. My y-intercept <coughs> is going to be negative 4. In actual fact, as a point, it would be 0, negative 4. Okay, right, so that's how we, uh, how we do that one. So that's example 3. Now example 4 is going to be um, find an equation of the line through Uh, let's see, negative four, negative two four, and two two. All right. Notice we have two points again here. So the first thing we have to do is find the slope. Is going to be um, say two subtract four over two subtract negative two. So this will give me negative 2 over 4, which is negative a half. So that's the slope. Now in slope intercept form, this would in fact be y equals negative a half x plus b. Or we could use the uh, slope, uh, the point slope form too, uh, with one of the points. But we know that both these points must satisfy this equation. So if I use the second point here, 2 would be equal to negative a half by 2 plus b. Then, of course, I have that 2 is equal to negative 1 plus b. Add 1 to both sides, b would be equal to 3. So my equation would be y equals negative a half x plus now if I wanted to graph this, and I'll just do a small little graph here, then I would say, well, this is 1, 2, 3, so it goes through this point here. But this negative a half means that every time I go across um, a half, alright, so let's suppose that here's 1, so here's a half. Every time I go across a half, it goes down. 2. So that will give me this point here. And so consequently this would be my equation. Or the graph of my equation. Okay, so uh, that's how we do uh, two, the, two different kinds. The point slope form and the slope intercept form. And of course we derive the slope intercept form from the point slope form. And we can use uh, this when we have two points or when we are given the, uh, the equation, we can get it into a graded intercept form, and this allows us to draw the graph rather easily.